Welcome to Model Steam Engines for Beginners, Part 25. In which direction should a model steam engine flywheel rotate? A simple question, perhaps, but what is the logic behind the direction of rotation? The best way to answer this question is to look at a full-size steam engine. This is the one at Bancroft Mill in a place called Barn Oldswick in the United Kingdom. If you have a look at this, and bear in mind it's a twin-cylinder compound engine, so it has a crank web and a crank pin at both sides. Is it rotating clockwise or anti-clockwise? That's not a good way to describe it because it depends which side of the flywheel you stood when you're watching it rotate. The components of a full-size steam engine like this one are extremely heavy. By way of a comparison of the scale, this is a Stuart Models Twin Victoria steam engine. None of the parts on this engine are anywhere near the size of the parts on the Bancroft Mill engine. This engine rotates at various speeds, from very slow like this, to ridiculous speeds, just by a turn of the steam tap, and it's almost instant. Here's another Stuart Victoria. This one's in steam at the moment, and I'm pleased to say that the knocking noise that you can hear is not the engine, it's a duplex steam pump just to the left of the engine, which is pumping water into the boiler. I sold this plant a while ago, and it was a very good thing. And as you can see, just on this Stuart Victoria, the flywheel is revolving towards the cylinders. This is a much smaller model, it's a Stuart S50, and the flywheel is also revolving in the wrong direction, towards the cylinder. This is something that you do not see very often. It's four Stuart S50s all rotating together, and you will notice that every flywheel is rotating away from the cylinder. The connecting rod is going over the top, also now in this image is my single cylinder Stuart Victoria and this is quite an old model but you will notice that the flywheel is revolving away from the cylinder and this is correct. With a Stuart S50 you don't really have a choice in the direction of rotation of the flywheel because if you alter the timing to make it run in the other direction the crankshaft will wind out of the flywheel because the crankshaft and flywheel are both threaded using a left hand thread. This really good looking twin cylinder steam engine is a Cotswold Heritage Griffin steam engine and once again the flywheel is rotating in the wrong direction. The question is with a miniature engine is it really important and the answer is no. That is unless it is a Stuart S50 which as I've just mentioned has a threaded crankshaft. Run that in reverse and there's a risk of it unwinding and the flywheel coming off and leaping around the room. This engine doesn't have a threaded crankshaft, so it's OK. Another type of engine to have a quick look at is a beam engine. This is a very simple one with a column in the middle. It's one that I rebuilt and it's a really good example of a beam engine. It is extremely quiet. Let's imagine for a moment that this is a full-size, very large beam engine. Even though it doesn't look like it in the video, the flywheel is rotating towards the column. Imagine this small beam engine was much larger and weighed many tonnes. If something catastrophic was to happen, like the beam breaking, and the flywheel parted company with the main bearings, the engine would be entirely wrecked by the momentum of the flywheel dancing around and smashing the central column, etc, etc. If the flywheel was rotating in the other direction, it would still cause a lot of damage, smash through the engine house wall and end up in the yard probably. Thankfully, in models of this size, there is insufficient kinetic energy in the flywheel to do much damage. This is an engine I've been working on recently. It's a Stuart Models Grasshopper Beam Engine. Because of the design of this engine, the connecting rod is at a strange angle to the crankshaft. I've seen some grasshopper beams or half beam engines where the beam is much longer and the connecting rod is nearer the centre of the flywheel. On this model, the flywheel is revolving towards the cylinder, which may be the wrong direction of rotation, but somehow it just looked right when I put it back together. I did try it in both directions, but I ended up fitting it this way. I'm sure some expert viewers will tell me that I've done it wrong. To be honest, I just do not have the time to Google my way around the internet looking for examples of grasshopper beam engines going in directions other than this one. As I've already mentioned, 
It's really down to the size and weight of the flywheel. Here's a specification for the flywheel at Bancroft Mill. Flywheel speed, 68 RPM, diameter 16 feet and weight 30 tonnes. Just slightly heavier than the steam engines I work with. I messaged my friend in the USA, the amazing Alexander Carnes. Alexander's knowledge base for everything to do with steam engines is astounding. The question that I asked him was which way should the flywheel rotate on a non-reversing horizontal mill engine? And this was his reply. Go away and stop bothering me. That's not actually what he said. This was his reply. Any horizontal engine should run over, with the flywheel running away from cylinders on its top side. Loading is downward on crossheads in both strokes. If the upper crosshead guides fail, the crossheads and main rods don't shoot up through the ceiling. Here is Alexander Cairns nearest the camera when we visited Bancroft Mill. And as I've previously shown, the flywheel is rotating away from the engine. And it's just as well really, because if the flywheel was rotating in the other direction and suddenly came loose, it would squash everything in its path. And that would include the engine man and my good friend Alexander Cairns. I'm fairly certain that the answers I've given in this video are correct, but really they only apply to the full size. Normally mill engines only run in one direction, so they don't need or have reversing gear. But a lot of steam engines do. So what happens to the direction of the flywheel when you put the engine in reverse? A bit more food for thought. I'll leave this video of a very pleasant day at Bancroft Mill running to the end. Here, Alex is shutting down the engine. Stay safe, stay healthy, thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Main Steam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists you can actually watch the videos back to back.